In this video, I'll quickly show you how to trim the edges um, so you can make this not as wide on this type of blinds. So we'll be cutting the sides. It's not lengthening or shortening how high or tall it is, but it's going to be cutting the, the sides. We're going to be do it, do it using a saw. And so I'll show you how to do that right now. So here's the blinds and you just pull them to get them to open and push them. I'm not going to do it right now. With this particular one, you have about four inches that you could cut in on both sides. So if you need to trim these, you could make this up to eight inches shorter without getting into this metal. Once you get into this bar, you kind of, you know, cut the strings here and you have to just buy a narrower one. So the window that we're putting this in, all of these windows there, it is a 48 by 48 window, which is standard. So most of the time you won't need to cut. Um, and if you do need to cut, you can also have it done at the store is the best time to do it. You don't have to do it yourself. But if you by chance have the blinds and you didn't have them cut at the store and you just need to trim an inch or two or a couple inches off, um, here's what you can do. So I'm going to set this up against the window right here. You could measure, but I find this way pretty easy. I just put it right up against the window and take a sharpie, a black sharpie marker, and I hold it flush with the side of the window right here and just put a mark right on the inside there. And then without moving it, I do the same thing here. So that gives me two marks. So I'm going to cut about an uh, inch and a half or inch and three quarters off of each side to make it fit that window. And we're just going to be cutting this right on a chop saw with a wood chop saw blade. So this is just a regular chop saw. Um, it has a fairly new blade, but, and it's not like a, um, some of these blades have much finer teeth. This is just regular for just all purpose, just cutting any type of wood. Um, and if you go really slow, it actually works pretty well. I've seen some people, they kind of like, they'll, you can tape this together to keep it from, you know, cut, sliding on you. But I've, this is my fourth one I'm doing today, and I just hold it up here and keep it some pressure on there and just cut. So I'll line up and make sure this is cutting right on that mark that I made. And then I'll make sure that this bottom part is flush. And you can grab like a piece of wood so you can use a board like this just to make sure everything is, is lined up. And actually the second cut is the most important because that's the one that's going to line everything up. So let's come over here, get it all aligned, and now I'll just slowly go down and just cut through this. <laughs> So it cuts really easy, really smooth. That one actually, I might have went too fast at the start because I chipped a little bit of the corner of the plastic. So the slower you go, you can avoid doing that. Um, fortunate for us, this is the back side. So if you do your marks on the back, that chip won't be seen. And then we see the keeping everything held together, we'll turn it around and do the same thing to the other side. And like I said, this other side is the important one. We don't want to level off with the board on this side. I'll level it on the other side to make sure that everything is, is nice and plumb and then make sure I'm lined up with my mark. And then we'll just cut this side too nice and slow. And I didn't cut right on my mark on that one. Um, but you can see how this this edge looks. You can see it does a nice, a nice cut. So everything's all smooth and cut there. And then this particular kit comes with end caps. So I'm going to cap these off so everything will look nice and good. But that's just an easy, quick way that you can cut these. I didn't realize how easy it is with this saw. I thought it might get messy and be a pain. But it actually cuts really smooth. You don't need any other special tools besides a regular chop saw. So, hope you found this video informative, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.